Hi there, I'm Java Jim with First Line Equipment. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you're new, welcome to our YouTube channel. What we have in front of us is the Electra MSD Espresso Coffee Grinders. And why do I say Espresso Coffee Grinders? Because most or the majority of coffee grinders we sell from Europe are really for espresso, not so much regular or what we call American coffee or drip coffee. So here in front of us, uh, these grinders are actually made by uh, MacCap. Uh, they're really, I believe, the M2 series. Uh, but Electra worked with uh, MacCap to design a better grinder uh, compared to the M2s that originally existed. But we're gonna go over some of the little ins and outs on this. Now, uh, this motor has actually 220 watts, 50 millimeter flat burrs, and a lot of people say, I want conical burrs, more surface area. Uh, I've come to the conclusion uh, over doing this 25, 26 years at this point, that conical burrs typically have lower wattage motors. Flat burrs typically have higher wattage motors. And although you may get more surface area, the lower wattage motors actually cost the manufacturers less money. So uh, you can flip a coin, which one is better? Uh, I'm kind of the old school with the flat burrs, but I'm also open to the conical burrs. But these have nice flat burrs, 50 millimeters, they grind very well. And one of the things that Electra kind of forced their upper hand on MacCap was to put a stepless adjustment on the back uh, of these units. And uh, I do like stepless because it makes you fine tune your grind for a better espresso extraction, okay? Also, uh, on a step grinder, when you have step seven, step eight, and you need that little bit in between, you really can't do it on a step grinder, and in those cases, you have to compensate by adjusting the amount of coffee, or ground coffee, or ground beans, you put into the filter basket. So there's a compensation method there where here you can really hone in. Remember, smaller number means smaller particle size, larger number means larger particle size. So always remember that when you're using a grinder, especially from Europe. From other countries, not so much. I'm not sure if they follow that general rule. Now the downside when they put the extra holes back here for the stepless adjustment is this used to be stepped and there's a hole still existing here. Uh, this is the way they were manufactured, so there is an ho a hole here, uh, which is something that brings it down a little bit in my uh, looks department. As you can see here, they're available in a, a, a gold colored finish, uh, chrome uh, finish, and then also in a black finish. Uh, Bean Hopper, I believe, is 250 grams, made of plastic. The other thing is the Bean Hopper cover used to be made of plastic. These are made of metal. Uh, and it looks like they're made of stainless steel, high quality stainless steel. Now the downside to the metal, well, you have a gold color here, why don't they make a gold colored copper hopper cover here, but you do have some chrome here, chrome here, so this is good matching, this is good matching. Here, eh, you know, I wish this would have come in copper, but I guess uh, MacCap couldn't uh, do it. Uh, you have your on off button on this side right here, so it's on and off. And then there's a little timer down here uh, or a setting for the timer. So you could set the time uh, of the dosage. Uh, an upgrade is here is the, uh, the dosage switch. So you would put the portafilter, touch the switch based on the timer. Uh, typically when you hold it in, it will continuously grind. This is made of metal on the MacCap versions. This was made of plastic. So this was also upgraded here. Now the portafilter guide, I don't call it a portafilter holder um, for the simple reason, some portafilters may not work well. Uh, this is also made of metal where before it was made of plastic. Uh, there is rubber mounts here uh, to prevent scratching. Uh, and also this is adjustable up and down based on the height of your portafilter. So some portafillers have a higher height, some have a lower. Uh, this is mostly made for the 58 millimeter commercial grade portafilters, maybe some 57, so the 58 commercial grade portafilters. 
the caveat is the Electra A lever with the smaller portafilters and the built-in spouts. You may have to rotate it in uh, or bring the spout, uh, I'm sorry, the guide downwards to fit it and also because of those spouts. So, but that, that's inherent in all the grinders with the Microcasa A lever, which is their lever machine. So just keep that in mind. Uh, as far, a really nifty feature that I do like, let me take this out, is the cord gets plugged in right here and the cord comes out as opposed to the cord sticking out of the grinder, uh, out of the grinder on the side of the machine. So I do like that you can uh, put that cord in through the bottom and lay it and it makes it nice and nifty and makes it look really, really good. Okay, we don't have too many grinders in stock, so we're not gonna be using any. The grind quality is really good. Uh, I've tested from uh, the previous uh, shipment that came in, but that grinder got sold. Uh, also, as you can see here, there's a, a little foot that holds the, um, whoa, can't remember this one here. Point it out down below what, that, what this is called. And uh, give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments, please ask down below. Can't always answer. As many people know, I can get extremely busy all, all year long, but I will try to review all the comments as best as possible. And once again, we have our Electra MS grinders here, the doserless, which we really like. And have a great day. Take care.